and welcome my name is Jocelyn this is my channel and today I'm doing kind of a chit chat video not a chit chat get ready with me but just a chit chat video about some thoughts I have some thoughts I have specifically on the beauty community and even more specifically makeup brands and new products and I was inspired by two different people the first being Paige from thrifty beauty and the other being someone who left a comment on one of my previous videos and I think she left a comment on my will I buy it and her her handle is Fleur de B, I think. I could be pronouncing that totally wrong. But her comment, she used the phrase new product fatigue, which really resonated with me and my feelings about all of the new products that come out and the way beauty brands push products down our throat. And I was inspired by Paige from Thrifty Beauty because she talks a lot about anti-consumerism and really delving into kind of the psychology of why we buy what we buy and why we make the decisions we make. And and she really just pushes for using products that are already in our collection and not adding products in, which I, I can get behind. I'm hoping this video isn't too all over the place because I do have a lot of thoughts and I'm hoping to be able to enunciate those to you properly and clearly throughout this video. So new products, there's a lot of new products always on the market. It seems that there's quite a few beauty brands that are just always pumping out new products, new products, new products. That's why Trend Mood, her Instagram page is so big because there's always new things coming out and we do see that more from some brands over others and I'm sure you know which ones I'm thinking about and we might touch on those a little bit later but why is it a bad thing right so there's kind of two trains of thought it's well if I love this bank brand why wouldn't I want them to come out with new products and then there's the other thought which is okay well why do we need all these new products why why is it necessary to have so many new products and while I understand the want for new products from some of the brands that we all know and love it's too much it's just too much and I'm sure that many of you agree with me and if you disagree I hope that you will stay throughout the course of this video so maybe you can get my thoughts a little bit more and if you disagree let me know down below one of the reasons why this can be problematic is because of PR so a lot of the big beauty influencers get PR sent to them which is great and that's exciting and I love that it's nice to be able to hear somebody's thoughts before a product is released right so they get products sent to them earlier where they get to review and then tell us what they think. The problem is, is that these beauty influencers are getting so many new products that they can't put the time, effort, and energy into actually reviewing the products. They might do a review slash first impression of a product, but that's not a true review. It's a first impression, and that's not gonna tell me what I need to know as a consumer about the actual product. While there are some people out there, some beauty influencers out there who do a really, really good job, a lot of the people with bigger platforms are not they are in it's not entirely their fault they get sent so many new things because there are so many new things out there that they're not able to really sit down and use these things and really get a really good idea of whether they work for them and whether they don't which again I don't entirely blame them because they want to use all of the new things that they're getting it would be unfortunate to get kicked off of a PR list because you're over here using this other thing that you got and you don't have time to use this thing and also to keep up with the new products that are coming out. So they wanna film videos and reviews on products as they're coming out, but there's so many things coming out that they can't keep up and then we can't keep up and we aren't getting sent these things for free. We have to buy them with our own money. And it's hard when we're not getting these full, honest and valuable reviews from these people who we trust or maybe no longer trust to know whether we should spend our money on them or not. So that's one of the big things for me and the big problems I see with all of these beauty brands just pumping out new products left and right is that we're not getting the full and thorough reviews from these bigger YouTubers who have these massive audiences. So one thing that I think is the reason why a lot of these smaller channels are growing so much is because people are looking to them to get the real reviews and why they're, they might be trusting people who aren't getting sent to these things for PR. It's because the people who go out and buy these products with their own money and are really sitting down and reviewing these products are the people that you're maybe more likely to trust. And I'm not saying that you can't trust people who get PR because I don't think that's true. There's a lot of people who really speak their truth, even if 
it could get them kicked off of a PR list, which I really value the opinions of people like that. I know Liv Loves Her Makeup and Samantha March are like that. They really just give their complete and full honest opinions, which I think is extremely valuable and lacking a bit in the beauty industry right now, particularly YouTube, the YouTube industry. So my other kind of concern with the amount of products that are coming out is it seems as though, how do I put this? Brands are pumping out new products without maybe investing their full undivided attention to developing these products to the best of their ability. So one really good example of this is the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. This foundation could have been amazing. This launch could have been so remarkable and amazing and it almost was until of course we saw the shade selection. And it was just because they were in such a hurry to push this foundation out much sooner than it needed to be. We would have waited. We all would have waited and it would have had a much more successful launch than it had if they would have really just sat and developed the product, developed the shades and took their time, but they didn't. And it came back and it bit them in the butt as we all know. I myself haven't purchased and I don't know if I will. I mean, maybe years down the road, I just don't feel comfortable purchasing it because of how much of a backlash it got. And I completely stand behind that and agree that it was unacceptable that they didn't put out those shades but also along that line this might be a whole different kind of video but there's so many brands that aren't producing the shades that are inclusive a lot of higher-end brands and a lot of drugstore brands but specifically the higher-end brands are the ones I care about because they have the money they have the resources to do this and they're not but going back to that Tarte foundation and just a lot of releases like that it seems like companies are more interested in staying in the spotlight and getting new products getting their name in influencers mouths and in their YouTube videos and in their Instagram posts they're more concerned with pumping out new products to stay on trend and relevant which I also understand I understand the need and the want to stay relevant and get on top of trends early so that you can benefit from those trends so while I understand the need to stay on top of trends and to stay relevant it's it's just it's just too much it's just too much I don't feel in a, in many cases that they're really putting their absolute best into I want to say a lot of these products but, but what I also want to say is that I am not an expert on makeup I well okay well yeah no makeup I'm not an expert in makeup I don't know anything about formulas and timetables and anything like that I don't know how long it takes to develop a formula I don't know how long it takes to produce something but I know it takes time and what really matters is the end result and the end result is product fatigue we are tired of the new products we can't keep up we are one person each and most of us don't have endless amounts of money to spend on new makeup products a lot of us are spending way too much money on new makeup products and not using the things that are already in our collection i know that i have suffered from that in years past before i discovered project panning i would keep getting new products because I really wanted to try something or I loved the packaging or someone who I love watching on YouTube has recommended it and I still do that of course I'm still a lover of makeup so that's not entirely gonna change but my perspective has changed on new products and the fact that I don't have to buy every new thing that interests me and neither do you <laughs> and so I think that's really important because new products are gonna keep coming out and they might not be the absolute best because who knows how much time these companies are spending on developing and perfecting the formula or developing the entire shade range like they should but using what we have and not feeling like we have to buy 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 everything that comes out is important and correct me if I'm wrong but it doesn't feel like this has always been the way it's been <laughs> does that make any sense it doesn't feel like this is the way it's always been and I could be wrong I got into makeup right before the naked three came out and so I don't know how many years Years that was was that five years ago that's when I really really started getting into makeup and I remember the hype around the naked three was so big
big because it just was so new and it was part of the naked line which people hardly talk about anymore nobody talks about the naked palettes and if they do normally they say that it's not that great but at one time it was it was amazing people loved the naked palettes because they were new and they were special but now there's so many palettes on the market new ones old ones collection expansions i'm thinking of the peach palette collection and brands really find something that's that works maybe once and they just take off with it the peach collection is a perfect example of that did anybody ask for the rest of that collection maybe a few but not everybody so i don't know if the beauty community and brands have always been like this where they've just pumped 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 new products but it feels like and it appears like that's kind of it's kind of a new thing it's over the last maybe six maybe five seven years it's it's gotten a lot i don't want to say worse but it's gotten excessive it's gotten really excessive the amount of new products that are on the market right now and it only seems like it's getting worse because makeup companies are thriving right now because people are so interested in makeup and the beauty community is thriving which obviously love i mean i'm a part of the beauty community i love makeup i love putting on makeup i love everything that has to do with it it's one of my hobbies and again i just it's a passion of mine but I also think that the anti-consumerism movement is on the rise. So Project Panning, anti-hauls, anything like that, like Thrifty Beauty, she has got so many really great videos on her page about really thinking about not just grabbing something or ordering something new because it's new and because one person may have talked about it. Really putting your mind where your money is and really thinking about products before you buy them and deciding, does this add value? Do I have something like this? in my collection already could i use this new product to inspire me to use something that's already in my collection i don't have to have this if i already have this just because it's new doesn't mean i have to have it i don't have to to have it it's it's product fatigue i'm tired of all of the new products i'm tired of the amount of new products and one brand in particular that i can think of and this is one of my favorite brands so i don't like saying this but it's of course ColourPop. ColourPop is every week it seems like coming out with something new and i don't know how they do it it's not just new palettes it's completely new products i didn't even know that they released nail polishes they got completely lost in the void they came out with like I think three nail polishes and now they're on clearance on the website and I was like where did these come from when did these launch and I don't know if it's the formula that maybe they didn't spend the time to develop and that's why it didn't get talked about I don't know if it just get, got completely lost because maybe they were launching something else at the same time but I completely missed that they're just always releasing new things and while I like that it's just it's too too much it's too much it's just always new products i can't be spending 30 dollars every week at ColourPop because that adds up and you know you know i'm gonna buy more than 30 dollars worth because i love ColourPop. it's just again it's just too much i'm tired of it it is product fatigue i am fatigued over here and i'm sure that a lot of you are too a lot of people who are in this community in this subsection of the beauty community who like project panning who like declutter videos who like anti hauls it's those people that are saying yes please tell me that i don't have to have this please remind me why i don't need this we have so many people shoving products down our throats that to be able to have someone kind of lift us above the waves and say nope nope you're fine you don't need that and here is why so i think that the anti-consumerism the anti-haul people i think that that is on the rise right now which i love i appreciate the people who can appreciate new products but also the people at the same time who can tell us you don't need all of this other stuff you know or this is my true and honest and full opinion on this thing because i spent the time to review it and here is everything i know about it everything i can tell you about it i did solid research on this product and then the people who you know also do the anti hauls which say this is all the reasons why i'm not buying it and maybe you don't need to buy it either and the people who are project panning saying hey this is all the stuff i got in my collection let me use it up i don't think that the beauty brands are slowing down anytime soon so it's kind of up to us to say whoa this is too much there's such a market out there and there's this is such a big community and such a money making community which it's okay it's okay but i'm here to tell you you don't have to be a part of that 
that if you don't want to. You can still buy products, of course. You can still participate in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty or the Sephora VIB sale or any of that, but I'm also here to tell you that you don't have to buy and you don't have to feel bad about not buying new products or every new product. And also to really, really think about the new products that you're interested in. Do they add value to your collection? Do you have something like that already in your collection? Can it inspire you to use something that you already have in your collection? There's so many alternatives to spending your money on all of these things. And so that was kind of all of my thoughts laid out there for you on this product fatigue topic. I'm sure there's a lot more things that I didn't discuss or touch on that are relevant and valid in this kind of discussion. So please leave them down in the comments below. I would love to hear some of your thoughts, whether you agree with me or you disagree with me. Please don't send any hate. We can have a valid conversation down below without being negative towards each other. So I really do appreciate conversation and talking about this this topic in particular and just kind of the, the movement that's going on right now in the beauty community towards more anti-consumerism and less of like bye, 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 bye. Those are all of my thoughts. Again, please leave some comments down below about your thoughts. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. This is something new for me, but I really enjoyed just kind of sitting down and talking about some of my thoughts on some relevant topics that I think could interest you if you like some of the videos that are on my channel, in particular my declutter and project pan videos. And so yeah, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Here's your little uh, your little dose of kitten today. We've got these two lovely little ladies over here snuggling, looking absolutely adorable. And then if we move over here, we have this guy just uh, being a little roly-poly right here. Hey! Quite uninterested in everything I have to say. Hi.